وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا رحم الرحمين We ask Allah Azza wa Jal teach us what benefit us benefit us from what he taught us and increase us in knowledge Ameen Ya Rabbi Alameen My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to protect me and you and all our loved ones from any harm When we feel some sickness we go to the doctor and especially these days, if uh, someone tells you that if you're feeling fatigue, headaches, sore throat, make sure go and check for COVID. These are all symptoms of you maybe having COVID. Well, are there symptoms to indicate that I have weak Iman. Are there symptoms of weak faith? And the answer is yes. And inshallah ta'ala, today we will be discussing seven symptoms of weak Iman. If I see any of these symptoms, or if I am going through any of these symptoms, I should immediately pay attention and try to fix this problem and increase my faith in Allah Azza wa Jal. The first symptom. When we start committing sins and not feeling anything, that's a sign that the Iman is weak. Committing sins without any remorse, without any regret. I drink doesn't mean anything. I miss Jumu'ah does not mean anything. I uh, see haram happening in front of me does not mean anything, subhanAllah. That is an indication that the Iman is weak. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Kullu ummati mu'afa. All my ummah could possibly be forgiven, except the one who openly, openly commit sins. Because we commit sins, but we regret it. Ya Allah, why did I do that? How, ya, what was I thinking? Huh? And we immediately ask Allah for istighfar, for forgiveness. We 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 commit. We say we do tawbah. Huh? But a person who does not feel anything after committing a sin, that's a sign of weak iman. My brothers and sisters, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu an, he said, the believer sees his sins as a mountain on his back very heavy load how you know he feels like he cannot wait to to ask Allah to forgive him and remove that load and he said the while the sinner he feels the sins as if as if they are a flying a passing fly and he just he says such and such to it to remove it he doesn't care just like you know this is how sins uh, how the sinner feel about uh, the sins don't mean nothing to him. When we reach that level, we have to be very cautious that something is wrong with our Iman. The true believer, the minute he or she commits a sin, they feel so bad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ the true believers are the ones when they commit a sin, even if it could be a major sin, immediately they make istighfar and they remember Allah huh? and they will not be persistent on, on that sin. That's the first sign. The second sign, the harshness of the heart. 
The heart is so stiff, it's hard. You listen to lectures, you listen to Jum'a Khutbah, you listen even to the Quran and nothing moves. Doesn't mean anything to you. No tear will shed, no action will be taken after the Khutbah, nothing, nothing. You even see our Muslim brothers and sisters suffering all over the world and that does not even shake you. That's a major sign that the Qalb is Qasi, the heart is very hard and that's an indication of the weakness of Iman. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us that the, the Muslims are like uh, uh, one body. If one part of it aches, the whole body stays up in pain, subhanAllah. So when I do not feel anything with my brothers and sisters that are suffering all over the world, I do not even make a dua, huh? the dua is heavy to perform, then that's a sign of, uh, of weakness of Iman. I am bored in, in, in the Salat. I, uh, even though I, I can spend hours on social media, but when it comes to Salat, when it comes to Quran, immediately I feel tired, I start yawning. Huh? That all are signs of weakness of Iman. Third sign, arrogance. Our deen taught us humility. Our deen taught us to be very humble. So when I start feeling that I am better than others, I don't belong with these poor people. You know? I feel like I am, uh, uh, I have uh, certain privileges more than anyone around me. All these are signs that a person, a person's iman is very weak. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us that if someone has a mustard seed of arrogance in their heart, they will not go to Jannah, Allahu Akbar. Arrogance is a major disease and a major indication that our Iman is weak. Fourth sign, stinginess. Stinginess is a major sign of weakness of Iman. Why? Because Allah Azza wa Jal in the Quran, in many ayat, have encouraged us and told us to spend from what He has given us. All that wealth we have is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always telling us, anfiqu, anfiqu, and the one who spend for the sake of Allah, this he will get this and she will get that. Huh? And then the person is stingy. That means he does not believe in the promise of Allah. That indicates that the iman is weak. And Rasulullah sallallahu said in the hadith that stinginess, and Iman cannot dwell in the same heart. One of them will kick the other. Iman will kick the stinginess or the stinginess will kick the Iman. Bukhul, stinginess is a disease. And if someone is stingy, he's definitely have a major weakness in his or in her Iman. So, uh, the symptom number five, if you have it, it will indicate that you have weakness of Iman, is feeling envious and jealous of other people's blessings. Feeling envious of other people's blessings. A person with a strong faith knows that Allah Azza wa bestows his blessings upon whomsoever he wishes. When I complain, why do they have that big house? Why their children are so good? Why is she having such a nice husband? Why I'm always complaining about my status and envious of others. I'm envious of others. That means I am accusing Allah, astaghfirullah, of being not fair. My iman is weak. That indicates that iman is weak. And same thing, Rasulullah said in a hadith that iman and hasad, iman and envy do not exist in the heart of a true believer. 
So the fifth symptom that we have weakness of faith is that being envious and jealous of other people's blessings. Symptom number six, feeling very lazy when it comes to the acts of worship. Feeling very lazy when it comes specifically to Salat. وَإِذَا قَامُوا إِلَى الصَّلَاةِ قَامُوا كُسَالًا And when they get up to pray, they are very lazy. They, they don't want to pray. And even in the prayer, they don't know anything. They do not know what they're saying. They cannot wait for it to finish. They have no clue what the Imam recited. They, they, they have no interest in the, in the ibadah. They have no interest in fasting. Even the dua, when they're making it so quick, and then they get up, no interest whatsoever. All these are indications of weakness of faith, my brother, my sister. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that a sign of nifaq, a sign of hypocrisy, is that being lazy in performing salat. So, subhanAllah, when I feel that the ibadat, the acts of worship, are very heavy for me to perform, that's a sign of weakness of faith. And subhanAllah, we have a very clear evidence. And the formula is the more I perform acts of worship, the higher is my iman. What's the evidence? Look in Ramadan. In Ramadan, I am fasting. We fast, we pray to Hajjud, we read a lot of Quran. All these are extras than the normal uh, other months, right? So the Iman, I'm performing more ibadat. So all of a sudden, it is the same Imam in my masjid that is reciting. He is reciting the same Quran, but now I'm crying. I am I'm tearing. I feel something different inside of me. SubhanAllah, that's an indication that the more ibadat I do, the higher my iman is. So, on the flip side, the lesser ibadat I perform, the, weak is, the weaker is my iman. So if I feel very heavy to pray Fajr, to pray Isha, uh, to pray this, to pray that, I feel very hard to donate. I f- it feels very hard to, to fast. I'm not talking about health issues. Huh? In general, any kind of ibadah, reading the Quran, one page, I don't even feel like reading. And I can read books, I can read a book 1,000 pages in one day. But to open the Quran and read one page or two pages, it is very heavy. That's an indication of weakness of Iman, my brother, my sister. And the last one is extreme panic when a calamity takes place. We all go through hardships and problems. All of a sudden you get a message, your uh, son got into a car accident, your house is on fire, you lost your job. How do you react to these things are an indication, is a thermometer, is a measurement of your iman. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in Surah Al-Baqarah, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةً قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Whomsoever is hit by calamity, they say, we belong to Allah, and to Allah we shall return. This is the statement that every true believer should say when they are hit by a calamity. But when someone says, complain, why, and start screaming and panicking, and I pray and I give money, why is this happening to me? And no, no, no. That's an indication of weakness of Iman. We all know that whatever Allah decreed to us, even though sometimes it looks very, very hard, we as believers know that Allah only decrees khair, whether we see it or not. So the higher my Iman, the uh, easier the effect of the calamity upon me. And exactly the opposite, the weaker is the uh, Iman, the weaker the Iman is, the tougher the impact of the calamity. So my brothers and sisters, these are seven symptoms. If you have all of them, then you have a lot of weakness of Iman. If you have one or two of them, then 
your iman is weak in that aspect and we have to fix it. So inshallah ta'ala, there will be a follow-up uh, episode of what are the reasons of having weak iman and absolutely also what is the cure of the weakness of iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen our iman. May Allah azza wa jal make our last deeds, our best deeds and make our last words la ilaha illallah. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadan la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa natubu alayk. Kitabun unzila ilayka fala yakun fi sadrika harajun minhu litunzira bihi wa zikra lilmu'mini.